Greetings, my name is Emily. I live in North Carolina, and today I'm going to be showing you a, a junk journal that I've got. My Etsy store is called Yesterday Stash, and the way that came about is that many, many years ago, uh, about 30 some years ago, uh, we had to uh, disband the old home place and at the time there was um, all women living in the home and so there was lots of drawers full of lace and fabric and knitting and tatting and uh, paper goods and books and um, all sorts of, of saving uh, people you know saving things um, and um, so uh, I brought some of that home with me and I stuck it in a drawer and it stayed there for years and I often wondered what in the world I was going to do with it. And I tried a few things, but about five years ago I came up with, I, I discovered junk journals. And I have just uh, really become uh, involved in creating journals and have found it to be uh, just the, the greatest form of expression. So. This is one of the journals that I've put together and it's called Two Doves. And the reason is because of these doves sitting here. This is an, an actual uh, picture. Um, and I actually have uh, Mod Podge the picture and also put a, 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 a ceiling uh, on top of the picture to preserve it. So, um, and the, uh, the, the book, the, the actual picture uh, is a little saying by Christina Rossetti and it starts out with two doves upon the hickory branch and so forth and so on. So uh, that's how how that came about. So lots of lace. Uh, it's, it's really a pretty small journal even though it has a lot of lace on it. It has uh, 45 pages. It is 8 by 5 and a quarter by 1 and a half inches. Uh, so when I say 45 pages that would be 90 front and back. But many of them, um, there's probably about 30 pages that, including little short pages, that have uh, for journaling. So if you took everything out, uh, all of the tags out, you you would have a nice flat surface for for uh, for writing on. So lots of stash, and I'm also very fortunate that we live uh, uh, close to uh, a thrift store called the Scrap Exchange, and it's a lot of reused materials and in fact it's two huge warehouses and one half of one side one half of uh, one, one warehouse has got all uh, home goods it's got uh, you know yarns and uh, no sewing notions and threads and sewing machines patterns uh, fabric uh, fabric for for clothes fabric for upholstering um, it's got leather goods uh, and all kinds of scrap scrapbooking paints and, and you name it. And so the whole purpose, you know, I think of a junk journal is to reuse. Uh, and that's what uh, I've been able to supplement the, the stash that had been in my drawers for years with, uh, in, with products that I've found at, at Scrap Exchange that I've been able to, to incorporate into my journals. Um, most a lot of the lace that is on the front here came from the old home place um, and uh, uh, I also have some um, cheesecloth on the edges that uh, are put in at, to provide some layers and then uh, one of the things that I, I have uh, come across is old magazines and here is um, this inside covers here are from a magazine called New Idea and it says right here November 1904 and um, on the back I also have an article from that same magazine and I also have uh, some um, advertisements that are in and this is actual the new home new idea I'm sorry it's not called new home it's called new idea new idea and uh, this is the 2004, 19, sorry, 1904 issue. Uh, and it says right here, New Idea Woman's Magazine, and it has the table of contents. And um, it 
just has some really neat uh, patterns for any anything uh, and neat articles. Uh, um, so it's 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 a really uh, interesting magazine, um, although it's you know not in publication anymore. Uh, but it, it's just an example of how women were using uh, magazines to get ideas for how they could uh, create their own garments. So that's the inside and out and back covers here. And then this is um, uh, right here on the back side I have poems from John Greenleaf Whittier. And this was a book that was published in 1900. And I have put several of Whittier's poems from that book in here uh, for, for you to use for tags or whatever. Uh, I, I love um, creating journals around the things that I'm interested in. One thing being uh, the whole Jane Austen era in, in Eng English uh, literature and um, then just... Uh, the whole Edwardian, Georgian uh, periods of history with English. I um, try to read, I've read quite a few, you know, history books regarding uh, the medieval and the, uh, just the history of England is just fascinating for me. So um, <clears throat> I don't have a particular paper pack that I have used for this. It's just a, um, a, a, a kind of a, um, you can get, pages at the scrap exchange by the sheet and so uh, I and they sell it sell it by the ounce so I have used washi tape and uh, just old papers created little um, booklets uh, this is actually from Zazzle uh, Zazzle is a um, an, an organization uh, www.zazzle that you can get postcards from and these are postcards um, they have lots of them for the for Jane Austen this particular one is Pride and Prejudice and then this these little flowers here um, came from England I was in London last year and I was able to go to a, uh, a fabric store or two uh, while I was there to just look to see what if there was any difference in the fabrics between, you know, and there's plenty of places in London to find fabric. And uh, so this fabric here was a ton of these flowers, uh, you know, joined together. And so I cut them apart and was able to, and able to use them separately. Um, it's a, you know, the, the, the fabric was like $50 a yard, but um, I only got like an eighth of a yard or something. And um, so in more lace and then trim, um, this particular tag can't, comes from the Dear Jane collection, which is the Jane Austen um, and the Dear Jane paper stack by DCWV. And um, moving along, <clears throat> when, when I was in London last year, I also found these really petite, sets of napkins in a bookstore that we were in and so I took them and collaged them onto um, you know to, uh, onto paper and uh, have used them quite a bit for um, for pockets and tags and tuck spots so this is something I got off the internet it's actually a map of uh, Jane Austen's Hampshire where she lived uh, as a child. These are examples of uh, cardstock kind of pages to journal on. And this is actually a, an interesting book that I came across uh, and found that has pictures of, um, it's an actual pilot's log. Uh, and I took, took the book apart and they make great uh, small pages for journaling on. Uh, this is some of it that I have uh, tea stained or uh, and I use them in my books to bring a little bit of, uh, of well just to find a way to reuse re reuse the book through journaling pages.
This is another interesting um, book that I found. Uh, it's um, called Letters to a Young Lady. And it actually is, this is the way the book was when it came to me. It is, uh, was published in 1820, 1825. And it's called Letters to a Young Lady. And uh, it is uh, the, the minister that writing the book is giving her advice, advice for life. And just this whole notion, her father, the, the, the man being a minister, and it reminds me of Jane's father, and then everything is about being proper and growing up properly and so forth and so on. It just reminded me of Jane. So this is, a, uh, I laminated these pages because the pages were so old, but this is actually one of the articles or letters that he wrote to her, and this is actually a picture of the book um, that um, you know shows where it came, where where the article came from. So this is something I found in the repository, which is a, a great website for finding old pictures and things. And this is a picture of the kinds of fabric that would have been used in Jane's day for dresses. I thought that was interesting. Uh, this is a, a, a quote by Sir Francis Bacon and a picture of him. And I put lines on it to make it into a journal, journaling page. And this is just an essay that came out of one of the old books that I uh, would make interesting reading. So I created some pockets and tuck spots and added some embellishments. Um, this is an actual little flower. And this right here is a, a, uh, a stamping up product. Um, I'm not really sure if they're even available anymore. It's uh, called uh, Stamping Around. Um, and what it is is, is, is you, you have these rolls and um, it, the, each of the rolls ha have a title. This, is, this particular one's called By the Sea, and it actually has the color, a color um, uh, stamp inside. And when you roll it, if you uh, pull out the, the, this little tag, tap thing, then it uh, um, allows the roller to become that color, and it rolls across uh, across wherever your surface. So it's really an interesting old item. Um, I had a friend that whose sister was a stamping up representative and she had years of supplies of stamping up products and this is something that she uh, she well she gave me about 20 of these um, and so uh, I'm pretty sure that you, you probably couldn't get them now but uh, that, that's just an interesting way to provide embellishment uh, across the page, especially on a page that doesn't have a uh, color on both sides. And this is just a little tag that, from uh, pictures of Jane Austen's time. You can always tell the Regency period of history. The, uh, the dress was uh, Empire Waste. Um, this is an extra tag here. Um, more tags that I have embellished with uh, lace or with sayings from Jane Austen. This is uh, some old papers that I found that obviously was a book at one time that uh, was for used for journaling, but um, it um, has statements and sayings about Jane, Jane Austen. This particular one is by Elizabeth Bennet. From Pride and Prejudice, so I just find it to be very interesting. Uh, this is where I took some fabric and did some playing around with it, and I'll um, put uh, a statement of, um, from from Jane Austen. Um, some tags here. It isn't uh, that's a staying by Jane Austen. This is a game. Um, not sure uh, if you can get it in the states, but I did buy it when I was. Uh, in London last year. It's called The Matchmaker, and it's a game that you play um, featuring characters from all six of Jane Austen's novels. It's called Jane Austen's Matchmaker. 
So I've included a couple of, um, this is uh, the Honorable John Yates and Maria Bertram, which is um, in Mansfield, Mansfield Park. Uh, this is some of the old pages from that book, The um, Letters of a L Young Lady, and I've converted it into, into a pocket because it was just the right size and uh, added some trim to it. This is an old piece of paper that I found a stack of these and it says 1862 Peterson's Magazine and we are in our area we live um, we're around a lot of universities and so the um, the the libraries of the universities you know have quite a collection that they get rid of things every once uh, every so often and so this is a page that came out of a Peters magazine but it actually had a pattern on it and I think it was a part of a collection of, of uh, garments or fabric uh, from that magazine that was once in the library. And this is the other side of it, it's music. This is another one of her sayings from Pride and Prejudice. Um, what I did with this is um, I put some washi tape on the side and the, the page was a blank on the other side, so this, this is the side that I uh, work with putting panels and lace and a little tuck spot, a pocket right here. These are stamps that you can get at, um, at that zazzle.com. You can buy several Jane Austen stickers. I said stamps, but they're stickers. Here's more of that book that had the uh, sayings in it and was uh, probably a journal. There's more of this from the Dear Jane collection. This is a little um, inside tuck. In this particular book, uh, drawing or photograph is in, from a book that I found that's uh, in all French and it's it says um, line font, I can't read French, but it has pictures of, of young children all throughout. And so I've taken the book apart and have used it um, for creating uh, pictures. The, the book was actually published in uh, 1925. And that goes in there. Um, this is where I took some of the um, beeswax and took uh, all the the, uh, page, the names of Jane Austen's books and this one's Persuasion and did some beeswaxing waxing on the outside of it. This is another tag, um, just embellishment using some um, paint. Uh, this is using some yarn. We have a huge. I have a huge collection of yarn from from the stash from the old home place, as well as from my mother uh, that I have uh, used. This is more of the postcard from Zazzle, um, with doing some trim around the edges. And this is actually um, tissue paper that I got from uh, Zazzle. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but these are little pop-up cards. You get them um, in like boxes of 30 and you open them up and they have a little saying to them. That one's already open. Uh, both of these are already open, but this one's by Albert Einstein and this one is an unknown. But uh, you can get these little pop-up pop cards from a place called, Compend well, it's compendium.com, but the actual website is live-laugh.com I'll put that in there. Now, this is another one of those little books. This is where I um, did some um, um, napkin uh, collaging onto a uh, onto paper. It was of a bird and so I cut the bird out. Um, just a little folder with one of her statements and another tag. More of the, um, the stamping around. Um, 
and uh, another postcard. This is a a, a tuck spot or tag, and it it is uh, kind of romantic, uh, which so many of Jane's books were were about romance. These, this is an actual bookmark that's a handmade bookmark that um, also is a is a tag and then at the end uh, I usually try to put some uh, things that I didn't get to fit into the uh, journal so I usually add things if, if I don't put them at the back of the book if the book is too thick then I'll put it in the packaging these are postcards from um, in, uh, Rome uh, and they're brand new and um, you can buy you know people sell their memorabilia and uh, these were brand new never been opened and I got them for, for I got about a dozen of them for 50 cents so it turns out to be a good um, uh, you can use so many things to get uh, get good results and uh, it's Junk journaling is just a great idea. Um, this will be uh, for sale in my Etsy store, uh, Yesterday's Stash. Um, I appreciate your taking the time to come along this journey with me as I continue to learn more about junk journaling.